Hi everyone, I'm super excited to have you here. We're gonna talk about FAR 110 group assignment. But first, let me introduce myself and my group member. I am Izara Batrisha, and my other group member is Najwa Safia, Nuru Izakistina, Aisha Anisha, and the last one is Noshifa. In this topic, we're gonna talk about background of the business, our transactions, document, journal, ledger, trial balance, SOPL which is statement of profit or loss, and the last one is SOFP which is statement of financial positions. The first one is background of the business. The name of the business is Fruity Soap Shop and the owner of the business is Izara Batusha Binti Yahaya. It located in Fruity Soap Shop, Jalan Meru Bestari, A2 Bandar Meru Raya, Mukim Hulu Kinta, 31200 Ipoh Perak. The type of the business is sole proprietorships and the accounting period is 1 month. The activity of the business is to provide soap products to the customer. We have four workers, which is No Shifa binti Manso, Najwa Safia binti Izudin, Nuru Izakistina binti Roslan, and the last one is Aisha Alisha binti Muhammad Nazro. The business status is continuing the business. On July 1st, Izara contributed 30,000 cash and 20,000 into the bank accounts. She also brought in vehicle value at 10,000 into the business document memo. 2nd July, both furniture, coaches and tables costing 6,500 from Lee Min Ho Trading document payment voucher PV111. On the same day, purchase soft on credit from Rose Trading amounting two thousand ringgit, Apple two hundred fifty units, valued four per unit, Orange Sop two thousand two hundred fifty units, valued four ringgit per unit, credit terms of six slash fifteen net thirty, invoice INV. One zero seven nine seven. Third July bought six units of rack from Chek B Furniture, costing one thousand eight hundred. The business paid the furniture by check. Document check C four seven five six. Four July received an invoice from Kwa SDN BHD amount three thousand one hundred fifty ringgit. Strawberry body gel. 150 units valued 7 ringgit per unit pear body gel 150 units valued 7 ringgit per unit cherry body gel 150 units valued 7 ringgit per unit credit terms of 6 slash 15 net 30 document invoice INV 1067 on the same day, received an invoice from Lily as the NBHD amount two thousand four hundred ringgit. Blackberry shampoo, one hundred fifty units valued eight ringgit per unit. Coconut shampoo, one hundred fifty units valued eight ringgit per unit. No credit terms for these transactions. Document invoice INV one zero three seven. July made a loan from a bank amounting five thousand ringgit. Document bank statement. Six July written fifty units defective orange soap to rose trading costing two hundred ringgit. Document credit note CN two four one. On the same day issued an invoice to Mira Filza Enterprise amounting two thousand four hundred sixty ringgit. Cameo Apple Soap 120 units valued 8 ringgit per unit. Alpine Strawberry Body Gel 50 units valued 15 ringgit per unit. Miracle Cherry Body Gel 
Fifteen units valued fifteen ringgit per unit. No credit term for Mira Filza Enterprise. Document invoice INV six five three four. Ten July is issued invoice to Li Dongwu Enterprise amounting two thousand one hundred sixteen ringgit. Tangerine Sop one hundred unit eight ringgit per unit. Fantasy Coconut Shampoo eighty units valued seventeen ringgit per unit. No credit term for Li Dongwu Enterprise. Document. INV 7098 11 July paid full payment to Ross Trading with check document check counter foil on the same day cash sales to Park Sojun costing 2260 ringgit fragrance pair body gel 16 units valued 15 ringgit per unit Kiowa Blackberry shampoo 18 units valued 17 ringgit per unit Document cash receipt CR seven six four five. Twelve July, the company purchased two types of shampoo from Mangi Corporation, amounting one thousand four hundred ringgit by check. Apricot shampoo, one hundred units valued seven ringgit per unit. Banana shampoo, one hundred units valued seven. Ringgit per unit. Document payment voucher PV two one zero. Thirteen July issued invoice to Kim So Hyun and Co amounting one thousand seven hundred ringgit for peachy apricot shampoo fifteen unit valued seventy ringgit per unit. Fantasy coconut shampoo fifteen units valued seventeen ringgit per unit. The credit term for Kim So Hyun and Co is. 10/10/13 document invoice INV 5001 15 July made a full settlement of amount owed to Kwa STN BHD by issuing a check document check counter file Kim So Hyun and Co return 5 units of peachy apricot shampoo valued 85 ringgit document debit note 16 July Issued invoice to Didi and Friends amounting two thousand one hundred ringgit for Fehi banana shampoo fifteen units valued seventy ringgit per unit. Tangerine orange soap fifteen units valued eight ringgit per unit. Fragrance pear body gel fifteen units valued seventeen ringgit per unit. Credit term for Didi and Friends is ten slash ten net thirty. Document is invoice INV four thousand one hundred seventeen July. The company purchased two types of shampoo amounting one thousand six hundred by cash from Queen B Wash for lemon soap two hundred units valued four ringgit per unit. Grapefruit soap two hundred units valued four ringgit per unit. Document cash bills on the same day. The owner withdrawn goods worth one hundred fifty ringgit, and cash one uh, three thousand three hundred ringgit for personal use. Document memo. On nineteen July, made a loan from Bank Islam amounting four thousand ringgit. Document bank statement. Twenty July. Receive commission by cash, one thousand ringgit. Document memo. Twenty two July. Receive check from Kim So Hyun and Co. Document receipt, R R zero eight eight. Thirty four July. Cash sales to Miss Nina costing one thousand five hundred fifteen ringgit for lemon blossom soap sixteen unit. Value eight ringgit per unit. Sparkling grapefruit soap seventy units. Value eight ringgit per unit. Fehi banana shampoo thirty units. Value seventeen ringgit per unit. Document cash receipt CR four one two three. Twenty five July rental receipt from the vendor machine owner amounting eight hundred ringgit by cash. Document receipt R R zero On the same day, Didi and Friends issued a check to settle their debt. Document receipt RR zero nine zero. 
26 July paid salaries to the four workers 1100 ringgit per person by cash document payment voucher pay V112 30 July paid expenses 200 ringgit cash for the internet expenses bills document payment voucher PV113 issued a business check worth 1200 ringgit for the utilities expenses document check counter file paid the rental expenses 2000 ringgit by check document check counter file Point is document. Here we have memo and payment voucher. The invoice from Rose Trading, the check. The invoice from Lily Sendirian Berhad and Ketwa Sendirian Berhad. The bank statement, the copy invoice to Mira Filza Enterprise. Original credit note from Rose Trading, the copy invoice to Lee Dong Wu Enterprise, the copy cash receipt to Pak So Jun, the check draft, the payment voucher, the copy invoice to Kim So Hyun and Co, a check draft. The copy debit note to Kim So Hyun and Co. The copy invoice to Didi and Friends. The cash bill and the memo. The bank statement, the memo and the copy receipt. A copy cash receipt. Two copy receipt and payment voucher. And the last documents are payment voucher and both check draft. The fourth one is journal. Here we have general journal. A purchases journal with the total amount 7550 ringgit. The sales channel with the total amount 8,420 ringgit. The purchases return channel with the total amount 200 ringgit. The sales return channel with the total amount 85 ringgit. Okay, so hi, my name is Najo Safia Binti Izudin and uh, I'm going to present our business ledger. Okay, so the first account we have here is the capital account. The capital account balance is 60,000 ringgit. The vehicle account balance is 10,000 ringgit. And the furniture account balance is 8,300 ringgit. The next account we have here is the bank account. The bank account last balance shows 31,290 ringgit 50 cent. The cash account balance is 12,610 ringgit. The drawings account balance is 450 ringgit and the purchase account balance is 10,400 ringgit. The next account we have is the account payables. The balance in the Rose Trading account is zero, which means the business has settled all the debt. Account payable Kekwa Sendirian Berhad shows zero balance too because our business has paid all the debt to Kekwa Sendirian Berhad. The payable account Lily Sendirian Berhad shows balance of 2,400. The business is still indebted with Lily Sendirian Berhad as much as 2,400 ringgit.
The next account shown is the account receivables. Account receivables Mira Filza Enterprise Balance is 2,460 ringgit and the receivables account Lee Dong Wook Enterprise is 2,160 ringgit. Both of Mira Filza Enterprise and Lee Dong Wook Enterprise are still indebted with our business. So the next account receivables Kim So Hyun and Co and Didi and Friends show zero balance which means both of them are no longer indebted to this business because they have settled all their debt. Now let's move on to the sales account. The sales account balance is 12,230 ringgit. The purchase return account balance is 200 ringgit. The sales return account balance is 85 ringgit. The loan account balance is 9000 ringgit and the discount receive account balance is 297 ringgit. The salary, internet expense, and the utilities expense accounts respectively shows balance of 4,400 ringgit, 200 ringgit, and 1,200 ringgit. The next account is the commission account. The commission account balance shows 1,000 ringgit. The rental received Discount allowed and rental expense account balance respectively shows 800, 371 ringgit 50 cent and 2000 ringgit. All of this balance shows will be transferred to the trial balance. Okay, so now I am going to present the trial balance. Okay, so this is the Fruity Soap Shop trial balance as at 31 July 2020. A trial balance is prepared to check if all transactions have been entered correctly based on the double entry rules in the journals and ledgers. This trial balance is prepared carefully and we use the double entry rules wisely so there will be any mistakes made. So we have the, our assets and expenses on the debit side and we have the owner's equity liabilities and revenue on the credit side. So the total on this trial balance is 85,927 ringgit on both debit and credit side. So both credit sides are balanced. So that's all from me. Naja Safia Winti Izuddin. Thank you. Okay, now my name is Aisha Alisha Binti Muhammad Nazrul and I will present about our business SOPL which is Statement of Profit and Loss. Okay, this is our business SOPL, uh, Fruity Soap Shop Statement of Profit or Loss for the year ended 31 July 2020. So our sales is 12,230. And we will minus with sales return and discount allowed. We will get net sales amount in 11,773.50. Then we will go to cost of sale or cost of goods sold. We don't have opening inventory because we just starting our business. So our purchase is 10,400 and minus with purchase return and discount received. We will get net purchase 9,903, then we will minus with closing inventory 9,685, 
and we will get cost of sales 218. Then we will minus net sales with cost of sales and we will get gross profit amounting 11,555.50. Then we will add with our revenue business. Commission 1000 plus with rental reserve at 100. We will get 1,800. Our expenses business are salary, internet expenses, utilities expenses, and rental expenses. We will pass all of this amount and we get 7,800. And then from the gross profit amount, we will pass with revenue amounts and minus with expenses amount. And our business got net profit 5,500. 55 and 50 cents. Okay, now we will go to statement of financial position. Okay, this is our SOFP business, Fruity Shop Shop, statement of financial position as at 31 July 2020. For non current asset, we have vehicle and furniture amounting. 18,200. Then our current assets are inventory, cash, bank, account receivable, Mira Pilsa Enterprise, and Lidongo Enterprise. We will pass all of this amount and we get 58,205.50. Then we pass our non current asset and current asset amounts and we get 76,505.50 for our business total assets. And then we go to owner's equity. We have capital which is 60,000 and plus with our business profit then minus withdrawing 415. And then the amount of our owner's equity business is 65,105.50. Okay, so our non-current liabilities, we have loan amounting 9,000 and the current liabilities, we have account payable lily syndrome bar 2,400. And then we plus the total of owner's equity with non-current liabilities and current liabilities, we will get the same amount like the total of our business assets, which is 76,505 and 50 cents. So that's all from me, Aisha Elisha bin Dr. Nazrul. Thank you. So that's the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoy watching it and have a nice day. Bye.